That's what she said. Hey, everybody, Angry Macho here, and we are back playing Black and White 2. I'm not moving anything because I'm actually using my other computer. Okay, let's play the game. So, we appear to have recovered quite well from the Hurricane Miracle. If there is a bit of a disconnect between this video and the previous, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but I have been away for a week and a half, and don't... It is time to make our stand, warriors. This day, you fight for honor and for our lives. Attack! And I don't remember what the last thing I did was. I do, however, see that our town is generally doing okay. Uh, perhaps winning the land would be a good idea. How many people do we have here? Uh, we have 490 some. Oh wow, no, we have 726. More than we can house? Oh, we just used the epic siren, didn't we? I bet all those people are probably walking over, aren't they? I don't see a large migrating group, but I may be too zoomed out to actually have them appear. Uh, maybe. Anyway, one way or the other, we need a more we need more housing apparently. So, you know, we need food. Why do we need food? I still see, I see food down there in the storehouse. It's really strange. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Perhaps they're just clamoring for more food because the people who haven't actually arrived yet are already eating. Whoops, what the hell? No, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. And they know that the current number of fields we have isn't enough to feed the influx of immigrants. Immigrant. I guess we'll just fill whatever area is available. This is why it becomes difficult for a city builder to build really large cities. Because you end up having to fill every available free space with farms. And there's just no... There's no getting around it. When you have a huge population, you need a lot of food to keep everything going. And that en ends up with you having, I'd say, an eighth of your population, Disciples perhaps, as farmers. Disciples. I think that would be Disciples. about the right ratio to have. Some, something around there. Anyway, in this episode, I want to get a couple more things out of the way. We need to win the land. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it through impressiveness, though. Uh, so we already have two. We already have three sirens. Wow, we have three sirens, a bunch of temples, some houses, and things. We're doing fairly, fairly well. How much money have we got? Oh, we've almost got enough to break the bank and go for the big Kahuna, the uh, Krakatoa of them all. Now, uh, I suppose we could build some more. We already have seventy. I'm going. Where am I going? I'm not even looking at the screen. We already have 77 villas, and so if we were to build more houses, they'd need to be in impressive locations, or we're just not going to get our money's worth out of them. Uh, we're just going to end up losing tribute. It's 45. Let me go ahead and build this by hand, just to see... Is it going to give us a bonus impressiveness, or a decrease? Okay, 42. That's a very small amount. I mean, I planted two trees, and I got 40, so... Putting houses down doesn't seem like a viable option for... Whoops! Death down upon us. Maybe I should close the gate. <laughs> get the feeling they'll still run run right up and get shot, so no big deal. Anyway, let me build a house here and see. Yeah, 42. And that's not really what we would want. <laughs> we need another 10,000 in order to capture Miyama, so it may just be best to go in there and kick ass with a huge army. We definitely have enough people right now. I don't know how many men are available. Where's our... Here we go. Go ahead and finish off that platoon so I can create an army out in this field. <laughs> we'll have to see how many archers. I'm not going to bring these guys off of the wall. I'm going to leave them where they are. Okay, so let's see how many people could I make. 240. That should handle it. It might be best to actually make two platoons, and I'll show you guys some platoon strategies here. I'll make one platoon of 120. I'll make another platoon of about 100. And we'll have one... Whoa, I don't actually want people to get out there. The creature and stuff are right there. They're just going to get killed as they're forming. Oh, crap. Uh, disband. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thank you. Where's our creature? Somebody tell me the L key? Yeah, okay, cool. The L key will jump the leash to your hand. And so we're going to go and fight the enemy creature. I believe... Do we already have our third creature win? We might. Let's see. Win three creature fights. Oh, we already have won three creature fights. Okay. Well, we're going to win another now. Where's he going? 
Seriously? Get over here. Get over here and kill this guy. He's over there playing in the woods. Come on, man. Here, I'll help you out. Whoa! Their creature... Just use a lightning miracle on that platoon. Uh, well, the archers are doing a pretty good job of... <laughs> wow, okay. That worked pretty well. Yeah, let's just squish these guys. I don't feel like waiting on the archers. This is Oh, look at that one guy went flying. Very nice. Alright, now we can go back to building what I was doing earlier. In fact, let's build another wall. Just to... Well... If I was going to build another wall, I'd want it to be out here, so I had enough room for a, so I'd have enough room for a gatehouse. But, well, whatever. One way or the other, let's put the creature back to whatever it was he was doing. No, Ugh. this is a dark day for our people. And now let's make those platoons. Let's go with a platoon of 120 there, and another platoon of 100. And that's good. I am actually going to build that wall. I'm going to god build it too. Because I'm sick of these pricks breaking into my town. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. I want my wall to go the other way. Well, actually, it looks like they're just standing out there, aren't they? They're not going to assault us. Alright. No big deal then. So as these platoons are forming, and we talked a little bit about platoon strategies, uh, having one platoon of 200 guys may not necessarily be better than having two platoons of a hundred. Even though you can move them all around at once, that advantage is sort of outweighed by the fact that you can't split them up. They all have to be attacking the same target. Or at least the same set of targets, like the same platoon. Whereas if you had a two platoons of a hundred, you could have one platoon attack the creature, and one platoon attack the enemy soldiers, and vice versa. Why are they standing around? The farmers are standing around. Why aren't they out farming? It's really strange. I'm confused by this. There, is, there are a number of farmers standing about who seem to think that there are no farms. Are they just really old and they don't work anymore? I don't know, they're just standing there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that. How many men have we got here? 103? 105? Okay, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and start building the other platoon. Out. There we go. We'll just have them stand around. What I'm going to do is have one platoon uh, link to the other, which essentially means they're going to follow them. And anywhere they go, they will follow. And basically, we're going to have one platoon cover the other platoon's ass. That's basically the strategy I'm going for here. I'd love for that catapult to not be there anymore. Oh, that was so close! Let's see if I can get that rock back. Come here, you. Hello, what was that? There we go. Let's try this again. Oh! Look at that. Those rock-throwing tutorials at the beginning of the game are paying off. I'm actually getting pretty good at that. That was sweet! <laughs> okay, well, the creature apparently got us some more tribute. What's left for us to make money on in this world? Okay, Shield Miracle, I'm not going to waste. Oh, I'll take over three towns by force. We'll get to that. Level up a platoon. Change of heart. Convert from good to evil. Okay, I can do that at the end. Segregate men and women. Eh. Some of these may not be worth it to actually go for. But we'll get as much money as I can stand. People are standing around again. That creature is getting really big. Like, look how tall he is compared to our villagers. He's easily like 100 feet tall. Alright, how many people have we got here? 68? Okay, cool. Check out what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take these experienced archers off the wall. Oh, shit, hang on. No, let's just stay where you are, actually. Let's fight. Let's have some battles. What do you say? See what our archers can do. Look at that experience gain. It's amazing. I don't think that there's any way for them to have friendly fire, so... Oh boy. Yeah, shoot at the... Oh shit, no, 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 don't run in. Shoot at the creature. And you guys also shoot at the creature. How he already respawned is beyond me. Whoa, what's he doing in the, inside our walls? It's not cool. I need to get our creature over there to kick his ass. Oh, they're breaking the platoons up by sending the warriors in. Okay, well it looks like the creatures are going to have a fight, so... 
As long as our guy's in the soldier role, he should do okay. Send him in to kick some ass. Why don't I get the fight option? Whoop. No, no, no. This guy. There you go. Yeah, we're doing okay. I don't know if my archers can actually hit that creature while we're fighting him, but... They're, yeah, they're, they're taking some shots. Okay. That should make this go by fairly quickly. Yeah, that was fast. Alright, creature, stay over here, will ya? Eh. Yep. And we're gonna kill your men, too. <laughs> Their men have killed our men! This is great. This is why archers trump melee. And even if they break into that front platoon, the back platoon is gonna remain in formation and continue firing. You see? It's really effective. Alright, so check this out. I'm gonna bring these elite archers, these, well, they're not really elite, but these better archers, off of the wall. I'm gonna send our creature back inside. Well, actually, you know, it might be nice to bring him with us. Let's bring him with us. We'll have him wait out here and fight anything else that tries to come at us while we're getting ready. So I'm bringing my elite archers off the wall, and I'm going to merge this big platoon with ah, that elite platoon, the platoon that's at rank 3 already. And now we have a really large good platoon. I'm going to have the big, the big trained, experienced guys. I'm going to have them link. Which basically means they're going to follow this smaller archer platoon. Now typically this scheme works with melee characters in the front and an archer platoon following the melee platoon. But I like to do it with both platoons as archers so that we just... It just mixes things up a little bit and this is the way I like to play. And killing from range just really appeals to me. You'll definitely see that when we do the new Vegas LP. Which I am more... I am far more excited about than I should be. Because I don't really... I don't really get excited about things. You guys might have noticed that, but... I definitely am getting excited about doing a new Vegas LP. That is going to be quite a lot of fun when we get around to it. Alright, so it's time for us to kick some ass. Let's go for it. Let's do this. I'm going to send the creature in. Oh, you're sad. I'm sorry. I don't want you to be sad. Get in here and fight. It's going to make you love the world. Some brutal, brutal stuff. I don't know if we'll end up taking his, his town with this force, but at the very least we'll do a lot of damage. Kick some serious ass. Wow, yes, look at the creature going crazy. Alright, so attack that platoon right there. And as you see, they take out a good number by themselves, and then when these good these elite guys in the back start firing, they got no chance. We were just decimating them here. <laughs> the ones that choose not to fight the creature just get mowed down by our arrows. And the ones that stand around under the creature get smashed, so there's really not a whole lot they can do. If he had some archery platoons, he could kick, a, kick us uh, from on his walls, but... It's not too likely, since he doesn't really seem to have much going on here. Let's go ahead and move through. As soon as this battle back here is done. There we go. Just make sure that you move the platoon that's in the front. Yeah, you're not going to stem our tide. You're not going to stop us, bro. You know, what we, you know what we could do? We could actually have this platoon link on the creature. Or follow the creature. And that's, that's actually fairly handy, even though the creature is a bit faster. Now all I have to do is, no, 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 get over here. Have the, uh, lead the creature into battle. He'll run in and start smacking people. And then our soldiers will come in to cover him. Now you want to handle this appropriately, don't send the creature too far ahead. Because if he's out of the range of your friendly arrow fire, he's not going to be able to... He's not going to take full advantage of things, you know? The whole idea is that the creature gets in there and kicks some ass, and your archers come in for backup support. They should be shooting at those guys. I'm not sure why they aren't. They're just milling around. Look at them, they're like ants. They're so confused. Okay. Well, I'll tell them. Attack this. Oh, where's our creature? Get over here and fight this guy again. I'll kick his ass. He keeps respawning really quickly now. I think his creature might respawn faster than ours. I'm not sure. Come on now. Fire those arrows. Don't just stand there and wave your arms. What are you doing? Are you serious? Attack! What the hell are they doing? I am really confused as to why this large platoon is not shooting. Okay, well it looks like we're winning one way or the other. There's only a few of their guys left. But wow, they are behaving strangely. The AI does some wonky stuff sometimes. I don't even care what the creature does. Our creature is going to kick his ass as soon as he catches up to him. We'll continue forward. If anything... What they've done here just means that 
Well, let's stay away from that cannon, wherever that's coming from. Yeah, that siege engine's gonna kill a lot of guys if he manages to hit us. Dude! Oh, you missed. Thank goodness. Too slow. Too slow! As you can see, we're just marching our way up to his town. And I think the creature already broke these walls, too, so... Well, maybe. They might shut that gate on us, but... If they do, we'll bring, we'll bring the creature in and break it down. Yeah, you see the back platoon, they should... Oh, shit, they're getting smacked. Oh, no, keep moving. Keep moving. I don't care about the fight. Oh, goodness. They're getting killed by siege engines. Oh, crap. Where's that flump? Oh, shit, just move. I don't... Anywhere! Fuck! Get over here. Oh, my lord. That did not turn out well. You know what? No. Turn and fight. Go back and fight that damn thing. As long as they keep moving, they'll be fine. Ah, uh, this might be a bad idea. Taking on archers with siege taking on a siege weapon with archers is not typically effective. But as you can see, it's only that front platoon that's making that's taking most of the damage. They're also the only ones shooting at it. That sucks. No! This is a right. dark day for our people. There we go. Kill that thing, seriously. Oh, that front platoon just died. So now these this platoon is no longer following it. They're just fighting on their own. I really feel like that thing should be dead. Is it not taking damage from that at all? What the hell? I don't care, just run. Run away! Run away! That rabbit's dynamite! I, I gotta shut up, I'm leaving way too much in this video. But I suppose that this is kind of climactic here. We are trying to do some cool stuff. Yeah, good plan. Oh, well we did kill it, what the hell? can <laughs> kill every one of them. That's so funny. Alright, we're gonna need reinforcements. We say we bring out some reinforcements, huh? First of all, we're gonna bring the creature back to the front lines. And we're gonna make another platoon. See how much see how many men we can get to come out this time. Sixty five? That's all I got left, huh? Wow, you think with all those nurseries we'd be making babies, but I guess they're not really gonna go for it Where until population is low enough. Honorable warriors. Are they getting pinged by arrows? Oh my god. Seriously? Don't stand right there. Yeah, your your platoons are just as dumb as the enemy platoons if you don't watch them. They'll do stupid shit like that all the time. How does he still have 253 units? That's... whatever. Well, we need to capture at least one town by four, so let's go and get that one. Meanwhile, our creature can go in and kick some ass. Because if he dies, he just respawns. I think I'm actually going to bring the creature back and have him cover the Splatoon. Whoa, revenge. That sounds scary. I'm actually going to have this... I want to take this town right here. Because it will give us an influence ring right next to the enemy influence ring. Which will mean we can throw all kinds of fire miracles and stuff at him. It's going to be fun. This is going to be an entertaining way to win. And it just occurred to me to do this, but... I think this is going to work pretty well, actually. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this town, I'm going to have an influence ring, I'll build houses all the way out to here. And I'll start throwing fire miracles into this town. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be fun for everyone involved, except for his townspeople and all the dying civilians. Look at all the cool houses he gets, though. Like, check out the design on these buildings, and look at the detail. For something that I'm going to see from, like, outer space, there's a surprising amount of detail in this building. The fact that it has an interior, and you actually can see the grain and the wood. I mean, look at this. The plants and things. And then the ants. And look at, like, look at the detail here, and the, the pulsing of the lava under the ground. I mean, the fact, half the time I see this, I'm going to be from this far away. And yet, there's, there's still this much detail to deal with there. I'm going to go kick his ass in his own pen. Get away from that wall, please. Can you not figure out how to get into the pen? Maybe he won't fight him unless he comes out of the pen. Okay, well, you're gonna die if you keep standing right there. Okay, cool. Our creature has a death wish. Oh, crap. As long as he's not going for that platoon. Ugh. The cre their creature doesn't look like he's going for our platoon. That's good. It's gonna be a fatal mistake for the Japanese. This is how we're gonna win.